we have octopus that is still squirming and then it's been topped with sliced penis fish. Penis fish. Penis fish. Penis fish. Okay. Oh my god, ew, it's like Oh! oh! Squirter! What's up guys, welcome back to Bagger Brothers. Right now we are in Hwangjong Market in Seoul, South Korea, and it's dinner time. It's a traditional street food market and we're gonna be trying everything from the delicious to the disgusting. So let's get into it. Yeah. I'm hungry, I don't know what to get, so we're gonna be meeting up with the girls from Do Stuff, who are locals here, and they're gonna show us exactly what to eat. Hi there, nobodies <laughs> and the internet fans, I'm Sufi. I'm Lee. What are we getting into tonight? What is on the menu? I think we're gonna start with one of my favorite street foods ever, Bindadong. 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 Honestly, the smells that are just taking over my nostrils right now are so different. Never smell anything like it, but it smells good. My stomach is rumbling, and I'm ready to eat. God. I just know I want to be with you. First time, pay money. Ah, OK. First you pay money, dude. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Duh. <laughs> yeah. I got that. He's speaking English. That's, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to learn how to pour some rice wine. So we always have two hands. Always. All the ones that we see her, also two hands. Okay. So two, everyone holds two hands. Yeah. It's like very full line. Sometimes you can do like this, okay. or this, or like, like never like go like this. Okay. Never so like, like So you do the first one and yes. I will. <laughs> my cup, as a, as my, a child holding up. <laughs> my cup is empty. We were having an impromptu drinking lesson in crash course in Korean culture. Kombe. 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 Hey, look at me, I'm speaking Korean. Look at me, I'm drinking wine. Whoa, gnarly. It's like Whoa, it's carbonated. It's like carbonated. It's thick. Yeah. Thanks for the wine. Okay. Bye. Kombe. I hope they have some noodles, you know, like Korean barbecue, pork, regular piece of pork. Alex is such a drama queen. When it comes to eating food, Alex is always like, oh, dude, it's so nice. But there is some stuff here that will push anyone's boundaries. Marco is brave with taste buds. I'll give you that, bro. Honestly, you are a brave eater. You're Okay, so right here we have bondegi, which is fermented silkworm larva. This lady's just got it right there, boiling in a big vat. Um, I have a cup. It's full of these insect larvae. And here we go, my first big bite. It's really not that bad. Insects aren't really that bad. If you get past the creepy crawly bit, Although, I'm not gonna lie, when I took that bite, the left side of my face like kind of just went numb. What was the name of that movie from the 90s? Star... Starship Troopers. Yes. I don't know if you remember Starship Troopers, but that one big, big old bug who came out and like slurped that guy's brain. That's what this is. These are the baby ones, but it's not that bad. Interesting thing though is like back in the day, you guys have seen the Marco Polo series on Netflix. Silkworms, super protected technology in, in China from the Silk Road and everything. And now here we are eating them. Next 
next on our dinner menu tonight is chicken feet, pig feet, and fermented shrimp and fish. Yummy. This is pig's ear. This is lung. This is uh, liver. Sometimes they give you heart. I think there's heart down there. So we're gonna be going for some pig trotters, as in pig's feet. I'm sure the flavor is gonna be just pretty much like pork, but it does look fairly intimidating. I don't even, I'm kind of speechless. This is a lot of foods that a lot of people probably wouldn't want to eat, and we have all of them at one time. Let's do it. Oh, oh. It's like a corn on the cob, except it's just a pig on a foot. Some foreigners see food like this in Korea. What are, what are some of the most common misconceptions? Misconceptions. Yeah, people actually um, eat all of these, right? People do eat all of these. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> when you're in America, usually the only time you ever have chicken, it's like a breast or a fish, it's a filet. Here, when you order a fish, they give you the whole fish. Yeah. That's how it is in a lot of other parts of the world. I just feel like we've been conditioned to think that like meat doesn't come from parts. Yeah. Meat comes in a plastic wrapper right. from the supermarket. Exactly. And also, a lot of this food actually has to be warm, and it's not a street food. Now, every single time I see a chicken just running around with its gnarly claw, I know exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> wow. Oh. Have you eaten that before? No. No? Never. It's your first time eating that? Yeah. You gonna try? No. No? No. Are you are? Yeah. Good luck. Ready? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it's alive. <laughs> Those are the penis fish. <gasps> oh, God. Ladies, I got a cultural question for you. Mm -hmm. What is the deal? Why, why does it have to be alive? Why is it called a penis fish? Why is it still squirming? It's supposed to be like a stamina food. No. You mean like for male virility? Male yes. virility. Oh, the penis fish or the octopus? The octopus. They're both squirming together right now. I think actually both, yeah. Oh. We have eaten fermented, rotten fermented shark. We've eaten fermented herring in Sweden. We've eaten freaking lamb's face in Iceland. But this to me is the least least appealing, most intimidating dish I think we've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you though, the famous fish's name is not nearly as exciting in Korean. What does it mean? It's, not, Cause Cause it's, it's like literally it's called Kebrun. Kebrun. Which means what? Okay, the origin of the actual name of it is from because it looks like dog's penis. Uh, a dog, a dog penis. penis. Dog, dog penis. dick. It do yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, now, that Wait, now that you say it, it <laughs> totally looks like a dog dick. Alright, we're in Seoul, Korea. We're eating live octopus and penis fish. Welcome to Bagger Brothers. Yay. Not that bad. The fact that it's still squirming on the plate is a huge turn off. Let's be real, I'd much prefer the octopus to be squirming than the penis fish. If the penis fish was squirming around, I'd be like, leave that thing alone. Okay, so this is kind of like a sea urchin, right? Similar to a sea urchin? It's I don't that know thing what... right there. Let's just say it like this. When she pulled the penis out of the uh, aquarium, and she squeezed on the end, it squirted. Gave a little, so. gave a little hello. Whoa, you just lost your penis fish. Slippery. All right, slippery when wet. Here we go. Three, two, one, penis in the mouth. Oh, it's so... Pretty good. Yeah, I'd order this again, honestly. Yeah. Before you tell how good it is, let me tell you how bad it is. You might see that we have a, got a bit of a dynamic here. It is so chewy and slimy on top of squirming octopus or look at it inside of the... Sashimi. What is that? 
Salmon. salmon. Oh, salmon. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Come Come Hey, good. Woo. All the way down the hatch? Yep. This is Susie and Lee. They make videos on the internet. They are excited you have found their YouTube channel and would be ecstatic if you subscribed. We just filmed a K-pop challenge with the boys from We Fancy. Yes. <laughs> and right now they're going to show us Korean barbecue done properly. Let's go. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry.